Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas here with Gerald Washington who takes on Deontay Wilder coming up on Fox February 25th in a opportunity of a lifetime. I know uh, the situation as to how this fight came about uh, were unfortunate for Deontay, but uh, you know, a boonful for you. What do you make of the situation that Deontay was in and then you coming up with this opportunity to fight for the title? Um. You know, Deontay's, Deontay's, the last time he fought was on, I fought on the undercard or whatever, man. It, it, a lot of things had to take place, man. I feel bad for for the guys that, lo that that lose the opportunity to fight for a heavyweight championship of the world, their dream fight, and they, they lose it due to drugs, man. I'm grateful for the WBC and VADA and all the people that, that partake in this drug testing process and getting rid of those guys, you know what I'm saying? Because our sport is already dangerous as it is. We don't need to add performance enhancing drugs to... to, to to, to further your career. If, if you feel you need that stuff, man, you don't need to be competing in this in this sport. This is a gentleman's sport. This is an honest game. It's already dangerous as it is. Just make it, you work hard and, and put your best on the table and, that, and that's all you got to do. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm grateful for this opportunity. I'm grateful for Deontay Wilder for them choosing me. They could have picked anybody in the top 15. Um, and I'm grateful to Al Heyman, man, for putting me in line for this, for this opportunity, man. So I'm gonna make the most of it and, and I look forward to the fight. I was at your fight in Alabama the last time you fought, and even now thinking about it, I would have never imagined that this opportunity would have gotten to you so quickly. When you were there and going through the motions and fighting and seeing Deontay fight as well, did you ever think that your next fight would be against Deontay? Yeah, definitely, man. They, uh, you know, it was mentioned to me that if I handled my business, which I did that night, I scored a fourth round knockout, then I'd be next in line to fight Deontay Wilder. Um, Deontay Wilder suffered a couple injuries and he had to sit on sit on sit on the sideline for a little bit. So I missed the opportunity because he was going to come back and he just wanted to test his arm out a little bit before he, before you really got going. Um, the guy happened to, to, to fail the drug test and, 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 and take himself out of the race and, and, and I got the call. So I'm very excited for this opportunity, man. And I'm like I said, I'm gonna make the most of it. Now, looking at the timing of the fight, from when it was announced to when the fight's going to happen, it's going to be like 26 days uh, of notice for you. Uh, a lot of people have made, uh, brought it up, the timing of the fight. How is the timing of the fight for you? And were you already training, or is it something where it just kind of came on and you're always ready? Yeah, exactly, man. That's that's the key to this game. You got to always stay prepared because you, you never know when you're going to get an opportunity like this. And this is an opportunity of a lifetime. You, we, we spend... We spend Every day in this gym, you know, we're always in here. We're always watching boxing. We're always working. We're always trying to improve our game. So, so I'm I'm grateful that 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 we do that style and stay in the gym and stay focused because we were able to, to accept the accept the the challenge when when we got the call. You know what I mean? If I if I wouldn't have been in shape or if I would have been sitting out a little bit, I, I wouldn't have felt as good as I do now. So, I feel like I'm gonna be well prepared for this fight and I, and I look forward to it. So there wasn't ever any I don't want to say doubt, but hesitation. Like, hey, maybe. I should wait. I know I'll get this opportunity, but maybe not right now. Oh, you you got to take these opportunities because you never know when they'll come again. Say Deontay Wilder was to fight somebody else and he lost, and and then and then the belt is in somebody's hands that you, you don't know you don't know when you'll get an opportunity, or they don't care to fight you. You know what I mean? You gotta then you gotta work your way up to a mandatory challenger and and wait for your turn. You know, and that could take another two three years. You know what I mean? So I'm just grateful that that I was prepared for this moment. And I got to make this moment count. You know what I mean? I can't worry about all the other stuff. I, this is my time right now, and I got to make it count. Oh, speaking of preparing for the fight, Deontay's a, a tall opponent, but you're tall as well. Uh, very similar uh, physically-wise, uh, only like an inch in height and an inch in reach. But how has it been mimicking him in sparring? Talk to me about that aspect. Well, Deontay Water is a, is a classic boxer, man, with a, with, with a strong punch. You know, he, he's and he's very... Uh, He's very uh, unpredictable, you know what I mean. When he get when he gets going, you know when he when he's calm, he's you know he, he, he he's predict you know he's a classic boxer. But when he hurts you, man, he smells blood. He's trying he's trying to rip your head off, you know what I mean. And that's and that's the part that you you don't teach, you know what I mean. You don't teach that part of boxing. You don't teach you don't teach people how to finish and kill like that, you know what I mean. So that's just something that he has in his heart because he's such a great competitor, man. And I look forward to facing that guy, you know what I mean. I look forward to. To, to just being in the ring with him and, and, and just having his punches come at me and, and, and me letting my punches go at him, you know what I mean? We're, we're, we're going to see each other eye to eye. I weigh him by 20 pounds, you know, I might have to rough him up a little bit, but I look forward to all of that. 
When you saw that last fight, did you see anything that you could take advantage of? Uh, I know Chris Ariola was also a, a late replacement uh, for him because uh, his other opponent, Fulbekian, uh, did the same thing as uh, Andres. But what did you take from that fight that he had against Ariola? Um, you know, I, I, I just, all the credit to Chris Ariola, man. He's just so tough, you know what I mean? I always admired his toughness and, and just him, his will to fight, you know what I mean? And that's something that, that I had to learn and develop along the way. Um, you know, he just didn't have all the pro he didn't have the proper tools to get to him, you know, or the proper. It, it just wasn't the moment. Like like you said, he took it on 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 fast notice. Maybe he could he could have been in better condition and, and maybe pushed it a little harder. Did a couple of things different. But at the end of the day, man, Deontay Wilder is six seven. You know what I'm saying? It's hard it's hard to get past that long reach and that, that great jab and and all those great punches that he has. So, but I, but I'm I'm gonna match him. I'm match him. I'm match him with all of that stuff. So I'm I'm not. It's going to be a good boxing match, man. We're going to be laying some leather, you know what I'm saying, some big, long bombs, you know, and it's going to be a great night of fighting. Speaking of that, do you think that's what you bring to the table that no one else has ever brought to the table against Deontay, seeing that you're very, very similar to him in height and reach and overall stature? Yeah, definitely, man. I, I know I'm a big uh I understand my spacing and I understand how to use my length and all that. Just as far as he, just as well as he does, you know what I mean. That's 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 how he that's how he survives. That's how he he gets around, man. But Deontay Wilder, he likes to fight, you know what I mean. So I got to be prepared for that. He's gonna be trying to step to me. He's gonna be trying to let his stuff go, you know what I'm saying. And I know that he he's 30 he's 37 and 0 with 36 knockouts, you know what I'm saying. So he's gonna bring that heat to the table, man. I got to make sure I'm firing something back at him. Do you think this is a better fight than the one that he had originally scheduled? Definitely, man. This is a way better fight, man. I'm way more athletic. I got way more juice than that guy, man. I got, <laughs> I got, uh, that that guy. That would have been an early night, you know what I mean? I mean, he has all all that experience, man. But that experience could go both ways. You could have 500 amateur fights and, and just be trained to fight a certain way, or you could be like me, man. You just be, you know. You just you just you just raw to the game, you know what I mean? But but that brings something different in itself as well, you know what I'm saying? That's why that's a little bit of the X factor that Deontay Wilder has. He doesn't have the discipline of having all 300 amateur fights, you know what I mean? Yeah, he went to the Olympics and everything, but he still has himself in 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 his style, you know what I mean? The same thing with me, man. Sometimes some things come out of me that I'm like, man, where did we get that from? That's just something that I learned growing up, you know what I'm saying? Or something that that's just a part of me that I was able to bring out in the fight. People would mention the record and then his amateur background, and then they'd compare it to you and be like, hey, you know, the, the credentials on Gerald, I don't think they, they level up with Deontay. You've been asked this, but what do you say to those detractors that bring that up? Like, hey, you know, he, he, he shouldn't be in there with a guy like Deontay. Yeah, I don't worry about that, man. Uh, like, everybody's always going to be a critic. Everybody's always going to have something to say. And if you try to please everybody, you never, you never will. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're pleased with yourself, you know. What I'm so I, I'm I'm grateful for the training that we do here. I'm grateful for the skills that I've developed and, and the hard work that I put in, because I know I can I can compete with this guy. I know I can beat this guy, and uh, and I'm gonna be ready, man. I'm gonna be ready. If Deontay if Deontay Water feels that way, so be it. You know. But um, I know I go into the ring, I respect everybody. That's why I fight the style that I do, because I, I want to make sure that that I'm in a safe place and I'm and I'm doing my things the way I need to do them. Um, but now I, I learned the mentality of how to fight, man. I know how to press somebody. I know how to smell weakness. I know how to hurt somebody. I know how to hit them to the body. I know how to just be tough and fight back. I know how to defend myself if I need to. I know I, if I, I could counter if I need to. I know I got I got different skills now. I have a better a better set of tools to, to compete against this guy, and I'm ready to show it. I'm ready to test it. If you don't test it, if you're always scared, man, you're never gonna learn. You know what I'm saying? You're never gonna grow. You gotta t you gotta take those risks, you know what I mean, to 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 move up, uh, and uh, I don't, this is my time to do that, and I'm ready. 36 KOs Deontay has. You have uh, 12 KOs. Both of you are, are power punchers. Is it safe to say, and even you coming in, that you know either way it's gonna end in a knockout? Yeah, pretty much, man. I I think that's how it's gonna go. You know, I've been watching a lot of Deontay Wilder, and uh, man. He 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 knocks everybody out, but you know he also gets touched too. So, hey man, I, I'm a big strong guy too. Don't don't get it twisted because I don't have all the knockouts. Yeah, you know because I've been I've been cautious in my style. I've been developing my style. But now I'm ready to fight, man. I'm ready to to to. I, I could have had a couple more fights that would have shown a little more, but but it's cool, man. I came back to the gym. I've been working on it, and I know where I'm at. I know where my level is at, and I'm ready.
Yeah. All right, they say fortune favors the bold, and you're doing a very bold thing going up against Deontay Wilder coming up February 25th on Fox in Birmingham, Alabama. This man right here challenging for the WBC heavyweight title of the world. WBC chief. <laughs>